as he makes his way out to the octagon. He is ready to go. Chan Song Jung is the most successful mixed martial arts fighter to ever come out of Korea. The man has outstanding skills in all areas of the game, and the nickname Korean Zombie came from his ridiculous ability to absorb punishment. Some jump. Steps inside the octagon and he's ready to fight. Daniel Hooker, very focused, well prepared, and looking for a big victory tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is going to need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. Get over. Set to go toe to with the Korean zombie. Chance on jump. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight showdown. Chuck is two years his elder. Poker is five inches taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds on the United States. By the way, the loser. It's your sequence. My name is Adam Lucar. I'm going to tie box and you just can be just for the professional right now. Routine wins. Or Buffer. He's got to fly these other people all the way in at 145 hours. I'm going to throw something for real. Yeah. 
put your final business. So we'll put the set up that Put the wheel inside the lake. Nice job. Come on, man. Big punch. Lord, great. Look at it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here is the big uppercut that led to the knockout. He had been throwing that uppercut throughout the fight, but this last one was the one that led to a KO. Let's check out the action on your fight replay. Here it is from a different angle. Here we see it again. Bam! Out cold. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Orleans has gone to stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. The very winner, the Korean Zombie, the Korean Zombie, victorious with the knockout. Up next, it's a light heavyweight showcase between Ildemar Alcantara and the youngest champion in UFC history, Johnny Bones Jones. John Bones Jones, the youngest champion in UFC history. He first earned the belt when he defeated Mauricio Shogun Ruak at age 23, and he has been nothing short of dominant since he first entered the octagon. John Jones, in my opinion, is the very best at utilizing his reach advantage. If you watch John's fights, he is the very best at keeping fighters where he can hit them, but they can't hit him. And if they get close enough to get a hold of him, he has some incredible wrestling talent to go with that striking. John Jones. Enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Yodemar, Alton Tara, pumped up, very confident, and ready to battle in the octagon. This is a phenomenally well-rounded fighter, Mike. He's got really precise, dangerous striking, and if this goes to the ground, he's a great wrestler and has some slick top-level jiu-jitsu skills. This is the prototype of the modern mixed martial artist. Here are the of Tara, center fight, Johnny Bones Jones. On table to take for this light heavyweight fight, 
Jones is 28. Elton Tommy is 33. Jones is two inches tall. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. What? Heavyweight division. It's Lucy Brooks. Fighting out of the blue corner. A good CG fighter. A special record of 21 wins. One loss. He's down 60 inches long. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of every guy in New York. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former human champion. Right? Heavyweight champion. And now is this is going to be This man is in the most of this one. Only one wins, eight losses. He's down 62 inches long. He's in the two of the five pounds. Fire! That is right up, fire up,
Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between one of the most dangerous strikers in the game today, Andre Arlovsky, and heavyweight king, Kane Velasquez. <laughs> American wrestler from Arizona State, Kane Velasquez, the first Mexican American to win a major professional heavyweight title in MMA or boxing history. And he possesses that warrior spirit. Kane Velasquez started out as a wrestler and has become one of the most intimidating heavyweight strikers in UFC history. He throws very accurate, extremely powerful punches, whether he's standing or using his ground and pound. Kenny Velasquez steps inside the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Andre Arlovsky coming off a great training camp. He is very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to run right through his opponent. This guy has ruthless one-punch knockout power. You can't teach it, but when a fighter has it, it's a huge advantage. enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Our table of the day for this heavyweight fight. Arlovsky is four years his elder. He is three inches taller. The rest is virtually identical. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this line is three rounds in the U.S. And what was it? Introducing Richard. My name is Matt Lincoln. I make martial artists on my special record eyes. 13 wins, 2 losses. He's had a century point shot, weighing 220 pounds. Three! And a Sailor's Eddie to the point of the ladies and gentlemen. decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to lay on this call to stop this contest at 58 seconds of the very first round. Declare the winner by Pump Up Champion! Take Raskins wins by knockdown. Coming up next, it's a welterweight showcase between Ryan LeClaire and the young Canadian star, Rory McDonald. We've often said that this man, Rory McDonald, was the first of the new breed of mixed martial artists, not just a boxer, not just a wrestler, or a submission specialist. This kid can do it all. His debut was in January of 2010, when he was just 20 years old. Rory McDonald is one of the most technically sound fighters in the UFC today. He is also one of the best of the new breed of young fighters who have learned from the beginning in a full spectrum of mixed martial arts techniques instead of relying on any one individual discipline. Ryan LeClaire, coming off a strong training camp. He is pumped up and ready to go. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down. And once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. Ready to fight tonight here in Las Vegas. Our tail of the tape for this welterweight battle. Leclerc is six years his elder. McDonald will have a three inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Look to what division. Introducing first, Mike This guy is a mixed martial artist, and the best of the world. 18 wins, three long series. He's at 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of the world trio, coming up, Of the 
Eve Levine, our referee. Ready? Ready? Fight schedule for three, five, six rounds. Black trunks from McDonald. White trunks from Oakland. Roy McDonald is one of the very best of the new breed of mixed martial artists. Didn't have a bad round of angels to do. This one is a game, but has come to the beginning to train entirely in mixed martial arts. Fantastic striking, fantastic jiu-jitsu, and a very intelligent fighter. And you're free. Come with a punch. Encouraging him to stay busy on the bottom and to keep working. Three minutes. Slips to half guard there. Inside control again. Yeah. <laughs> 
Up next, it's a strawweight matchup between Kaelin Curran and Claudia Dalgivia Gadelia. <laughs> Claudia Gadelia, pumped up, very confident, and ready to battle in the octagon. This girl has some of the best takedown defense I've ever seen inside the octagon. She's so good at stuffing takedowns and punishing her opponents that she actually discourages takedown attempts. One of the best in the business at stuffing takedowns. Coach Abadela is ready to go to battle in the octagon tonight. Kaylin Curran, as always, very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to go to battle. This girl is an excellent striker, very fast, she has excellent Muay Thai, good boxing, very good takedown defense, and she is an aggressive pressure fighter. Kaylin Curran. Set to fight to here inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Our tail of the tape for this strongweight showdown. Current is 24. Gadelia is 27. Current is one inch tall. 
she will have a two inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is going to come to the UFC Strongweight Division. Fighting at the front end, this woman is a big martial artist of the sporting professional wrestler. Her team lifts from the cross. She has a party for each of all. Boy, you have one of the 15 pounds. Fighting at the front end, this woman is a big martial artist of the sporting professional wrestler. It is our main event of the evening between Connor, Notorious McGregor, and Brian T. City Ortega. Brian 
tell you guys, coming out the best training camp of his life, and he is ready to walk away with a victory. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, fear, naked, darts, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. Brian Ortega enters the octagon and he's ready to fight. Born and raised in Dublin, Ireland, the notorious one, Conor McGregor, the first ever two weight champion, back in his home country. He is as precise as any striker in the octagon today. And the national amateur boxing champion lacks no confidence as he enters the octagon again tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Conor McGregor, ready to fight tonight, here in Las Vegas. Our deal of the day for this featherweight fight. Ortega is 25. McGregor is 27. Ortega will have a three-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, we're going to each other to the first game. This is the moment you are to end around the world of the waiting world. Live from the NBA Club of the Rebounds of Las Vegas.
Let's look at that from a different angle. Check it out here. Boom! And he's out. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee will be in the first half of this contest. At four minutes, 31 seconds of the 31st round. The player will be in the Victorious McGregor, victorious with the knockout. 